Hi, I'm Amy from EasePares, and in this video I'm going to be sharing how you can find your appliance's model number even if the information has become rubbed off. Usually there will be a data sticker or plate with model number info somewhere on your appliance. It's worth looking for this first if you haven't already done so as it's the easiest way to find your appliance model number. We'll link a playlist at the end of this video with information on how to find the model number on different appliance types. If the data plate is removed or if it's become completely unreadable, then there are still some steps you can take to find out your appliance's model number. Without the right model number, it will be difficult to find parts and accessories that are compatible with your machine. Not knowing your model number will make it really hard to check if your appliance is on any recall list too, which is also a safety issue. So it's worth taking the time and doing an investigation to find out your appliance's model number. Firstly, take a look inside your appliance manual. Unfortunately, this isn't guaranteed to give you the model number, as some manuals do cover a range of different appliance models. However, this will give you some idea of the model information, so it will narrow down your search a bit. If you bought your appliance new, you could also check the original sales receipt. However, this could be long gone if it's a paper receipt and you're not in the habit of keeping them. However, if you bought your appliance online, you might have a digital receipt somewhere in your emails. Old worn data stickers may have the model information still partially visible. If this is the case on your machine, take a picture of the info that's there, then take your search online. Replacement parts will have a list of models they're compatible with, so you can try and match up the part with what you think the model number could be. This isn't an exact method, of course, but it could still help you find what you're looking for. Finding replacement parts using just the partial model number can work, but you do run the risk of getting parts that don't quite fit or look slightly different to the original. If either your manual, your receipt or your data sticker only contain the partial model number, then you can always try contacting the appliance manufacturer. They're experts on their own machines, so their knowledge can help you fill in the gaps and identify your appliance model number. Some machines have series numbers if manufacturers have made changes to a model. Serial numbers are also common and give information about an appliance's colour, accessories and date of manufacture. Having either of these numbers can help the manufacturer identify your model number. Or if you're trying to find either of these numbers, the manufacturer can help you find these two. Another option, if you're replacing a faulty part, is to have a thorough look through the part itself. If there's a part number on it, you can search for your replacement using this part number instead and you should be able to get your hands on a like-for-like -like part. Just pop the full part number into the search bar on our website. If nothing comes up, try removing any punctuation like dots, dashes and slashes and search again using just the numbers. Even if you spot a part number on a part that you don't need to replace, this could be helpful. Search for this part along with your appliance brand and type to find a list of models that this part fits. You'll then know that your machine is definitely one of these models. You can even narrow down your search to just one model if you already have the partial model number too. As a last resort to take when all other routes have failed, you can still perform a general search on the eSpares website. Simply select the brand, the appliance type and the part type you need. Then review the images and the specifications of the parts available until you find the one that seems like it will match up with your machine. We wouldn't recommend doing this though unless you really can't find any model info for your appliance. There could be lots of parts to trawl through, and even if you find one that looks the same, it's not guaranteed that it will fit either. But if you're happy to take the gamble and you've exhausted the other options, it could pay off. We hope these tips have helped you find your model number for whatever you may need it for. If so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for regular appliance advice and repair videos. As promised, here's a playlist showing you how to find the model number on various appliance types around your home. Thanks for watching.